A frightening statistic, most deadly fires happen in the middle of the night, but firefighters in central Kentucky have some advice which could add valuable time to help you escape. Miranda Combs tells us what you should know before you turn the lights out. Time is probably hard to measure. Something like this happens. The bottom line is it could happen to anyone at any time. But there are times when it's more likely to happen. The majority of fire fatalities occur between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. when people are presumably asleep and they just aren't aware that their home is on fire. We went with firefighter Jessica Bowman. So this is our smoke trailer that we use for training. Inside a fire simulator, they use this to train. And we always teach about how you want to keep um, anything flammable away from your your kitchen stove area. Show kids how to react when smoke is everywhere. We have a smoke simulator in here. Smoke is going to rise and then when it hits the ceiling, it's going to spread out and, and, and mushroom back down. But we were here to see how one simple routine can add seconds, even minutes during a fire. Typically, the, the difference is going to be hundreds of degrees. Here's the proof. On the left is the inside of a bedroom door. On the right is the same door on the side of the fire. The door is an effective barrier to keep the smoke and heat out of that room. And it's not going to buy you forever, but it will buy you precious, valuable minutes. And it gives the smoke alarm time to alert you of the danger coming your way, delayed only slightly by a closed bedroom door. Now, the average residential hollow core door, it doesn't have a fire rating, but it's still an effective barrier. And an extra hurdle for a fast moving fire. The combination of a working smoke alarm and a closed bedroom door is going to buy you a lot of time in a fire and 30 seconds can make a big difference in a fire. So the time it takes to shut a door could save a life. Bowman also says every family needs to practice their escape routes at least twice per year. And remember, smoke alarms are only good for 10 years, so make sure yours are up to date and working.